hey 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 what am you good welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how i basically have my wash day with my hair my date night quote adina um basically i'm going to show you what i do from pre-poo to shampoo to conditioner to deep condition and then um basically how i blow dry and make sure my hair is basically moisturized at the end with my leave-in conditioner so i've just basically come in my hair is just like in two cameras and a one and then my face is full up of makeup because i've just come back from work but i was like this i need to wash my hair and this is going to be the only time that i'm probably going to have the opportunity to show you guys how i actually do it so without further ado let's go Okay, so I've just taken my hair out from the two plaits and out of the bun. My hair is really, really dirty from flying all over and it smells. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is basically get ready to pre-poo my hair. This is the first step that I always do on wash days, co-wash days, whatever. It's me getting my hair ready for the battle. So in that little container that you saw, I have olive oil, I have avocado oil and I have castor oil. I also love to put my hair in sections so I have four bands small ones so that it's not too much tension on my hair which I'll do in one loop I also have a plastic bag that I'm going to be putting over my head to seal it in it's basically my way of using heat but without actual heat and then for extra security I have my satin scarf for less friction so as i said before i do love a good section so i'm just going to start off by basically finger parting my hair into four sections i don't really like to use a comb um, because i just feel like it just no matter if it's a wide tooth or small tooth if my hair is tangled it's going to rip the hair itself as I'm looping the hair, I'm sure to make sure that I'm only looping it once. I don't like to loop it more than once because then if I'm taking my hair, taking the band out of my hair, it's going to then cause even more knots, which I'm trying to avoid. And then it's going to rip my hair at the same time and <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. We ain't trying to lose hair. We're trying to grow the hair. You feel me? And this is me with my four bunches. So I'm just going to take each section out bit by bit and add the oil. I like to pre-poo as I've said before because I just feel like it's just penetrating my shaft which is what a conditioner cannot do. A conditioner is mainly made up of water so with the olive oil it's stretching my hair. You wouldn't want to put conditioner to pre-poo because it's just going to be shrinking your hair and then by the time it's time for you to wash your hair, your hair is already shrunken. So olive oil basically gives me that extra length before I then get it to shrink with all the water and all the battle with the shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioning, all of that jazz. Okay, so once I've finished pre-pooing, I like to put a plastic bag over my head. You can use a shower cap, but I just have plastic bags lying around, so this is what I use. The reason why I add this on is because I feel like it locks in the oil so that it penetrates my shafts much better. And I normally like to leave it like this for about an hour. You can leave it in for 24 hours. Now, I put on a satin scarf afterwards because I just feel like in case I want to go sleep or if I take a nap then the oil is not going to get all on my sheets and the bag is not going to slip off so this is an extra method that I do I just add on my satin scarf for less friction in case the bag just falls off and then it doesn't frizz up my hair and adds even more tangles and even more knots to what I'm trying to actually do And then this is where the waiting game starts. Now, as I said, I like to leave mine on for about an hour. So what I do is, this is a time when I'll do that laundry, do the washing up, clean up my room. I'll just do things to keep myself busy if I'm not tired. And then by the time I'm done, it's time to wash it out.
Okay, so an hour has passed. I've run all my errands. I've done all the things I need to do. So now it's time to basically get ready to wash my hair. So I simple take off my satin scarf, take off my bag. My hair has that shiny effect to it. I'm just going to take it all. I take out all the bands and get ready to wash it out. Okay, so I've washed up the oil, so now it's time for me to shampoo. I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Shampoo. For me, it's worked well. It has shea butter and apple cider vinegar. And the whole point of shampooing is to clean your scalp. I like to apply it all over, but I mainly pay attention to scrubbing my scalp because if my scalp is dirty, my hair is not going to grow. Your scalp needs to breathe and then your roots become stronger and then your hair will grow. So when you're shampooing, I always say, try and put it on the scalp first and then you can move it towards the end I bought this little mini Denman brush from Amazon, it was like £2.99 and this is what I use on my scalp to exfoliate, get off any dead skin because then that will also help my scalp to breathe so I just go around and exfoliate. So the next thing is conditioner. So I'm just using the Shea Moisture, this one has Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin and what I'll do is basically apply it on the ends and then work it to the roots. This helps to clean the hair itself and it also makes my hair a lot softer. I also use this if I'm going to co-wash, so if I don't have enough time to shampoo but I still want to clean my hair a bit, this is what I use to just co-wash and it does what it needs to do. But I wouldn't use it all the time. You still need to shampoo because condition just co-washing doesn't clean your scalp and take out all the gunk. You still need to shampoo and condition. I usually leave this in for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I will wash it out. Okay, so the next step for me is deep conditioning. I love this step. I'm still using the Shea Moisture line. It has the Shea Butter, the Peppermint and the Keratin. And you're probably wondering, why am I deep conditioning my hair when I've already conditioned it? Now, deep conditioners work best when you have clean hair. The shampoo has cleaned my scalp. The conditioner has cleaned some of my hair. So the deep conditioner, as soon as it touches my hair, it is going to work. You don't need to leave it in for longer than it states. I normally leave mine in for about 15 to 20 minutes and um, wrap it up with a bag. And you know me, I love my sections. And so I use it from the ends to the roots and I just really, really work it in. Afterwards, my hair is so soft, so nice, so manageable. Like I love deep conditioners. Also, if you're going to deep condition, use a deep conditioner. You need to use that. You cannot use a normal conditioner and expect the same results. If you're using one and you think that, okay, it's good enough now, if you switch to a deep conditioner, you, oh my gosh, you will think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I'm telling you, use a deep conditioner to deep condition your hair. Do not use a normal conditioner. Okay, so it's been 15 to 20 minutes, I think it was about 20 minutes, and now I'm just going to take out my bands and give my hair one last final rinse. Get everything out so that way I'm ready to blow dry. So my hair is feeling so soft already, I can already tell the difference.
Ah, <laughs> the shrinkage is real. So I'm just uh, finishing off towel drying my hair. Yes, I know I need to get a microfiber um, towel or use a t-shirt. It would be better for less friction. So my hair is clean. All I need to do now is basically dry. So we're going to start off with my favorite part and that is, you're right, sectioning. So my hair is in four sections. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you a quick way of me blow drying my hair because I'll leave that in a whole nother video. So I've got my coconut oil smoothie and I've got my um, heat protectant spray and I've also got my Cantu Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. I love that. Oh, it is, it's the best thing. So I put in the coconut smoothie for um, my hair while it's still a bit partially damp and then I'm going to spray some heat protectant spray on it as well because I'm going to be using the blow dryer. I want to protect my hair as much as I possibly can but even though I'm using the blow dryer I'm going to use it on the protect setting and then I'm just going to finger comb the section just so that it doesn't cause as much tangles. I'm not really in a rush to go anywhere. I'm not going, I'm just going to bed so finger combing is good enough for me then I'm going to use my Cantu leave-in strengthening treatment just a small dollop just for that section and I'm basically gonna rub that all throughout the section I love this product it's basically like my leave-in conditioner and since I've been using it I've noticed that my hair really takes well to it and it just grows a lot it keeps my hair soft manageable and shiny as well so I'd definitely invest in that if I was you. Okay, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to bed. So I've just thrown my hair in four plaits. My hair feels so clean, it can breathe. If you like this, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. One year since I've been natural. <laughs> and obviously, you know, I had to have the bun. Who doesn't like bun? Like, what the hell?